I don't think the train comes here anymore. The train? Oh, uh, because of the, um... So Edmund McMillan's the mate boy now. He was the un... Any friend Percy ever really had. They were always making them both stay off to school. I'm glad he found a job. I guess his parents aren't looking after him anymore. Maybe I should see what's become of him. I wonder if he's missed any more deliveries. You may be wondering about the yellow powder currently coating our streets. Is it a particularly imaginative attempt at making our city even more colourful? <laughs> Shall we expect blue powder? Concerned about, do be careful, take a few precautions, and keep to Are you the waiting for someone? The butcher's boy. He's a bit around. slow, but he's usually right on the dot. Do you know where he might I, be? I haven't seen I him all day. The shipment of tainted vegetables has been completely removed from our streets. <sighs> Maybe I should sit down for a bit. Are you Fanny? What if I was? I'm looking for Edmund, the butcher's boy. Oh dear, I have a terrible feeling he's in trouble. Maybe I should go and see if I can't straighten things out for him. Hey, leave him alone! Hey, fuck off! Why don't you pick on... I've got your package. You are a dear. And here's a package for the butcher. Am I supposed to pick something up? I found some mushrooms in the... Sorry about the wait. Oh, that's a relief. I think I have a package for you. Yeah, this is it. Oh! I'm off to see the butcher, a wonderful butcher of ours. Afternoon! Come again soon. We often have new stock. I don't suppose you've seen my meat boy, Edmund. The uh, ploughboy's broke his legs. Oh, that's a damn shame. He's simple, you know, but reliable.
I do say Simon says. Yes, you do do it. All right. Is everybody ready? You there. Are you ready? Oh, you are. Yes. That's Please the keep spirit. clear of the Anyone area, the sir. We are conducting an investigation into a possibly heinous package. All right, then. Now, what I want, I want everyone to get themselves Oi, a weapon. Shame the haircut. What are you doing there? Like that. Come out. Come come out. Stop. Stop. In the name of the law. You have a Put that down. Say. Why are we doing this to each other? Ah, yes. I can see I already got a few people out there. If you swung left, then you're out. The German. Let's be discreet. It's going to be terribly awkward if anyone sees me carrying this. I'm just joking. You can never be too careful. Then you're out. The Germans got you. Fall to the ground, eviscerated. <laughs> I'm just joking. Police! A bit of assistance, if you please! do for you today. Arthur Hastings! You are an intrepid young man. You've done me a solid. They don't make them like you anymore. Well, we suppose they don't make them at all anymore. <laughs> Here, the least I can do is give you what I gave poor Edmund. Look, my job has been getting complicated. I could certainly use an apprentice. Do you like a permanent position? Edmund's a good lad, but he's always been a bit... limited. And my work has become so challenging of late. I've had to go to extraordinary measures to keep this town fed. We are in an extraordinary situation, aren't we? You were so helpful in bringing me that package. Now, we need to process it. You want me to help process that package? I'm not proposing you hurt anyone, you understand? Just ignore a silly old taboo. Just go on through that door if you're willing to help. I can't believe it. <laughs> People say you can't get good help these days. my things. No windows. Well, that's not ominous at all. Welcome to Cutty's Mechanical Kitchen, featuring the very latest in meat packing technology. It used to take days to dismantle a carcass. With my new inventions, one apprentice can reduce a carcass to its edible parts in no time at all. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is the very first time we're running our machines on the real... material. What have I got myself into? Now the first thing that I need you to do is obtain the package from the upstairs cold storage room. Don't worry. At no point will you have to unwrap the package. The magic all happens through the provided access valve. No time to read this now. No time to read this now. First, we must exsanguinate the package. Bring it downstairs to the exsanguinator.
Before you make the package, you'll need to operate each machine once. Just to clear out any residue and check its operational soundness. We don't want to contaminate the product, do we? to the exsanguinator via the provided access valve. Now, turn the crank until the exsanguinator determines that the package no longer contains free liquids. Disgusting than I expected. Ah, good. As you can see, each machine will release this package once it's accomplished its purpose. Efficiency is our watchword. Next up, evisceration. That would be the... the eviscerator? You learn quickly! As before! Was it supposed to do that? Did you not see the blades come out? No, just... just marks. Also, a, a metal thing just fell out of the main bit. Oh dear. The commutator are overloaded again. I thought we'd fix that. Uh, maybe you better come down here and fix it again! Ha! Ah, uh, I'm sure you can manage on your own. There's a spare one in the cupboard downstairs. There's only one way to insert it. button again. Good as new! Well, he's actually well mounted, lad! Well mounted! Excellent! When the eviscerator is done, the package will be dismounted, ready for another package. Uh, another package? Once I achieve a steadier stream of raw material, I would have to keep these machines running all day. Or at least long enough to take advantage of any surplus protein that could be obtained in Wellington Wells. Now for the final process. Bring the package to the exfoliator on the next floor. Exfoliator? Yep. It exposes the skin to steam, separating it from the muscle. And then it removes the skin, making it available for tanning. Or other purposes. I, I don't mean to be impertinent, but... Shouldn't you do that first? Oh, no, no. There are no stupid questions, only stupid answers. But that will result in a leakage of liquid. And you won't want to put it second either, because the package is much easier to manipulate with its skin on. I'm so glad I asked. On with the exfoliator! Press the button, check the functional integrity, und so weiter! I, I, I mean, and so forth! Now, mount the package on the exfoliator. Superb! The package will be released with the fully exfoliated. You think exfoliator is the right word? I thought about decorticator, but it's sanguinate, eviscerate, exfoliate. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Uh, definitely exfoliate. I'm so glad to hear that. I mean, it's a scolder, skinner, but that doesn't sound very official, does it? And the last machine is the extruder. Oh, ho, ho! that's it. The package is now fully prepared. We're ready for the extruder. Mind the package and let's get cracking. Ho ho! I can barely contain myself. This is really the machine I'm proudest of. It's a combination meat grinder, pulper, and injection mold meat former. You wouldn't believe what I had to go through to get the pieces. Up on my board, you'll see a list of orders. We've already filled in the addresses. All you have to do is press the right button. 
For example, if you order calls for one meatloaf and one meat bun cake, then you press the appropriate button and then you put the order in a pneumatic tube. beginning of a beautiful friendship. I want you focusing on the job. I'm very impressed. Time to daydream. Isn't it an amazing system? I'm quite proud of all the automation. You're doing a lovely job. Why don't you take a short break and get something no to, to eat? This now. I've got to find some way out of here. August 30th. Have to be more careful. I accidentally put my hat next to the suction coupling and it went right into the intake canister. Spent an hour pulling felt off the blades in the cyclone mincer. Imagine if that had been a bottle, or worse, a wrench. September 9th. Problem solved. Added a power cut off to the suction coupling. Now it won't even start up unless a package is mounted onto it. I'm going to add that same cut off to all the machines to minimize accidents. Don't want Edmund's hand ending up in the V-meat. Ah! If I stuff that broken bit of the eviscerator into the package, it ought to clog up the works nicely, shouldn't it? All right. Are you ready for another day of serving people? I mean, uh, serving the people, of course. <laughs> My little joke. Never mind. Clearly wants me to stay away from the cellar. Is that the way out, I wonder? You're a smart lad! Speed it up! Ah, let's see you extrude that. Something's gone terribly wrong! There's smoke coming out! That doesn't sound good. I better add come down. Don't try anything clever. We've got a lot to do today. And it takes so long to recover from the spanker. Yeah! 
You maniac! You blew it off! Oh, damn you! God damn you to hell! I think I'll just get my things and go. I don't see anyone else's things here. That's a good sign. You're not in the center, are you? Becoming the aim. What's going on up there? I heard shouting. Where's Ridge? Mr. Cutty's turning cadavers into V-meat. I barely escaped becoming V-meat myself. He's got these horrible machines in there that turn people into meat bunt cake. Uh, human bunt cake? That's... that's monstrous. Is he armed? He has a rather nasty spanker, but I think he's a bit trapped in the cellar at the moment. Right. We'll knock out the power. Go spank him ourselves. Thank you, citizen. We'll take it from here. You can't do this to me! I'm a pillar of the community! It's all lies! I never! Those are all perfectly legitimate machines! I'm only trying to feed people! We're letting perfectly good meat go rotten! That's insane! Perhaps I should give thought to becoming a vegetarian. <laughs>